Hi everybody and welcome to morning coffee break. It's pretty nice out here this morning. I mean, it's it's like 41. I'll go over the weather in there, but uh, it's sunny and it's been raining, but I thought I'd take a walk. Uh, it's a little breezy, but not too bad. Believe it or not, y'all, garden's still here. I got some uh, I got some radishes the other day for our salad. Everything's still hanging in there. I don't I can't believe it. But something been they've been digging over here still, the squirrels. These turnips they won't they won't make it. By spring I'll have to I'll have to dig them up because I've gotta have that bed, you know, for my plant. I can't wait. It's like 35 more days or 45 more days. I wish it was 35 more. Like 45 more days, I think, or 44, either one, uh, till it's time to have spring. It's a little cloudy, though. I guess the sun came out between some clouds going by it. Hope y'all are doing good today. Thought I'd get a little walk in because. Uh, after I go for my infusion, usually it's the next day I start feeling a lot of muscle uh, soreness. Uh, I just feel like I've been beat up and uh, just super tired, you know. Uh, so I thought I'd get me a walk in because I don't know if I'll feel like it. I usually go ahead and walk if it's nice, even when I'm feeling that way, just to get my muscles, you know, move in get a little bit of exercise loosen it up a little uh, but you know the side effects are well worth the, the outcome the benefit uh, I, I really think it's a big possibility that if I, they had never started me on uh, in TVO that uh, you know I might not be here right now that's how serious things we're getting. I really can't afford to lose any more of my intestines, or, you know, small intestines or colon. I really can't. I see more slugs. Boy, I don't know what it is about this area over here. There's little slugs. That's what's eating on my garden in the summer. I'll have to get me some more sluggo this year. I'm about out of it. I'm gonna put sluggo down because they come out at night. You never see them. You know. Uh, I guess if I came out here in the middle of the night with my flashlight, I could probably see them eating on thing. But they can do some damage. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it, but they do. It's weird to see them in the winter time like that. They'll be dead, you know, down through here. I don't know Here's one right here, see? There's one right there. And the ones that's doing, that one's moving. I'm sure that's the ones that's doing the damage on my garden. I'm surprised they're over, not over here eating on it now. But they seem to be over just over there alongside the grass, you know, alongside that one side of the driveway. You don't see any of them over here right now. I'm sure in the summer they'll make their way over here, though. Because <coughs> they eat on the leaves of everything. All right, I'm going to go inside, everybody. Hold on. All right, back inside with my coffee. I've got a little, little review this morning. Yeah, I like to snack on something if I'm not going to eat. Well, I'm going to eat breakfast earlier today because we got to go to the infusion. But I'm I'm hungry right now, and uh, we got these Welch's fruit and yogurt snacks. This one's strawberry, and there's the nutrition facts in in a pouch here. It's 80 calories, total fat one and a half grams saturated one and a half grams no trans fat no cholesterol 
40 milligrams of sodium, that's nothing. Uh, 17 grams of carbs, 14 grams of total sugars. And it's got 10% of vitamin D, 10% of calcium, uh, and 25% of vitamin A, and vitamin C, 25%. So, pretty good for you. And let's we'll see what they're like. This is what they look like. Little... Hmm. Like a like vanilla yogurt. It says real fruit surrounded by creamy yogurt. Hmm. They're good. They're really good. They're easy to take with you somewhere. Put one in you short pocket or your purse. Joy picked these out. I don't remember where we got them. Hmm. Might have been at, uh, we went to Big Lots while Logan was in therapy yesterday, but we didn't get much. I think that's where she got them. Because we got 20% off the entire order, but we just didn't didn't need anything much, so we didn't buy much. And just because they got 20% 20, 20 off, we weren't going to. We did look around, you know, just to, to waste time and to go back and pick him up. The place was dead. I mean, <laughs> it was hard to see anybody in there. There was several people, but it's a big store. It was completely dead. There weren't hardly nobody in there. I mean, you could about hear your echo. <laughs> well, I recommend these. I don't know what all flavors they have, but the strawberry is really good. Okay. Today's Friday, February 5th. Currently, it's 41. Feels warmer than that. High today is 43. 30% chance of precipitation. 87% humidity. Winds are at 8 mile per hour. It is a little breezy. And air quality is the highest I've ever seen it. But I've been following this every day. 73. I've never seen it. Um, the highest I've seen it is like 50 some. But it still says that's only moderate pollution. And it won't harm you. <laughs> yeah, I recommend those. Y'all would like those. They're, they're low-fat, gluten-free. And vitamins in them. Okay. The thumbnail is a dinner that I fixed last night. And that's those... Uh, Chicken tenders from Sam's Club, which they're delicious. And I fixed some coleslaw, and I fixed that uh, Bob Evans that we got at uh, Kroger for two fifty. It was on sale for three fifty, and then we had a dollar off with Ibotta. We ate the six cheese macaroni and cheese, and that stuff is awesome. We had that with it. And I just had some, I saw some steak fries that was, uh, you know, one of those, you know, when you fix something and then there's a, not really enough left for another meal, but you put it back in the freezer and then it's like you never, it's always in the freezer. So I'm starting to try to grab stuff like that and just throw it in with something else. I mean, we had enough for each of us to have some, but it wasn't, you know, usually we would have had more than that. But, um, you know, wanted to get rid of those. I'm we're going to try to work on these freezers. Uh, getting some of this stuff eating some of this stuff to, to make room for when we uh, shop at Sam's this uh, this month um, because everything's such big bulk you know 
you have to have a little bit extra space to put it in, but it's worth it because it lasts so long and you when you figure out the price per portion, it's cheaper, you know. So that's what we do. Um, you know, I, I buy things like I won't need any, uh, I won't need any dishwashing liquid for a not long time. I won't need any shampoo for a long time. I won't need any uh, body wash for a long time because y'all have seen the deals I got on them, you know, and, and why, why wouldn't you? And then, you know, once I got plenty of it, I won't need it unless I get something for free. I mean, I'm going to take advantage of anything free, but you know, uh, that's how you do and you won't need anything for a long time. You won't run out or anything like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was a great dinner last night. And that sauce is the boom, boom sauce on mine the, for my chicken is a boom, boom sauce. They're like orange sauce looking that you can get at Walmart and it's really good. It's a little spicy, but not enough to even bother me. So I like it. I just need three more questions for Ask My Tablet, so chances are I'll do that today. Um, and I'm having my infusion today, uh, and it's at 11 this morning. That's why I'm trying to get things done a little earlier this morning. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll probably, like I said uh, earlier, if, if there's not a whole lot going on around me, I'll, I'll film some because it's uh, it's a pretty busy place but I you know usually there's not a lot of people uh, they, they've got it separated where there's like um, just four people in a room you know with the nurses with two nurses that's usually about the way it is and used to they had it in a bigger area and you, there'd be like I don't know 30 people you know, and they stopped doing that when COVID started around. But because you were right next to, the, you would be right next to the person next to you on both sides, but there would be a curtain, you know. But really it was six foot apart, so I don't know why they uh, why they did that. But there was a lot of people in there. Maybe they just don't want that many people in one area, even if you're six foot apart. Um so I don't know, but anyway, there's, they just moved them to rooms now. And uh, I'm just thankful that I don't have to have it done at the hospital because there's a bunch of COVID at our hospital. And I just, you know, would be really nervous going over there. Even if, even if they gave me a separate room, I'd still be nervous. So I'm glad I'm having it where I'm having it. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and do today's question. And I got this question from my uh, devotions this morning, and I adapted it a little bit. I just put it towards with COVID in it. But it is, what is your greatest challenge right now during COVID-19? That is a question. And, and the question, you know, on the, my devotions was like, what is your greatest challenge right now? Or something like that. So I just adapted it for for the way things are right now. So what is your greatest challenge right now during COVID-19? And so, uh, I think I've gone over everything I was gonna. So I got a little story for story time, everyone. And I thought I would go ahead and do another little fishing story since I did one yesterday. And, uh, you know, I used to love to fish. I wish I could now. I just can't really physically do it. That You know, I couldn't get around too much. I mean, I guess I could just go sit somewhere or something, but I'd have to buy all the stuff, you know, your license and uh, some equipment probably. Uh, you know, different things. It'd probably be a little costly to, to go just one time anyway, but I'd love to sometime. Maybe get just a two-day one or something, one of those licenses just to go. I don't know. Me and my brother might do it one day. Um, but anyway, I used to fish all the time. Well, I was in the Cub Scouts, and uh, we had a, uh, there was a Cub Scout camp or a camp, you know, like we would go to. And uh, we would... Uh, we decided that the whole family decided to go 
for a, a day and they were having a, a meal and stuff like that and just like a family day at the at the camp and uh let me see i i need to look at these notes a little bit okay okay so uh, you know they had a river run by there it wasn't no creek it was a big it was a river and uh that ran right through the camp so you know i wasn't going to just sit around and play volleyball or something like that with a river like that nearby you know i, I brought my fishing stuff you know <laughs> i mean i had no problem uh, leaving to fish i mean i did some stuff with m my sister and mom and dad and everything but they were doing something i must have considered probably boring and anyway i was going to go i was going to go fishing before we left no matter what you know so it, it went to this went to the river and i was fishing for a uh, trout rainbow trout and uh it was using uh salmon eggs you know everybody used a lot of them use that to fish for a uh, trout i'm sure they still do and uh you know i tried i tried a little bit from the uh from the shore or whatever you want to call it from the from the land part you know uh tried tried from there and it was just like you know this ain't working out too good uh because you could just throw it a little bit up what you do is throw it upstream and it would carry it down uh, until it got past you and then you'd do it again you know well I, I wasn't satisfied with that so i uh took my shoes and socks off and and uh, you know rolled my pants up and just went out and waited in it so I could go downstream. It wasn't real deep. It was only maybe two foot deep, something like that. And uh, so I could walk down through there, you know. Might not have been too smart to take my shoes off, but I didn't want my shoes to be wet. Probably could have got my foot cut or something. Never really thought too far ahead when I did stuff like that. But I just wanted to fish. So, uh, yeah, I even wrote that part down. So, you know, I went down a ways and I left my shoes and socks where, you know, I was. And I went down a ways. Well, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to uh, walk upstream against the current to go back where I was. So I figured, well, I'll just go climb up this bank here and walk back to my my shoes so I don't I don't even think I caught anything right then I, I, if I did it was too small and I threw it back but I didn't have a fish you know I had like a I guess I brought something to keep a fish I don't know probably a bag or something uh, but I obviously didn't you know I would have had a fish with me but um, I decided to climb up that bank <coughs> So it was a little steep, you know, and I had my fishing rod with me. I didn't carry much with me because I just, I wasn't planning on fishing the whole day or anything. I just had those sam the little jar of salmon eggs. And I think I had like a, some type of baggie or something, maybe with an extra hook or something or just the bare essentials. So I had my fishing rod though, and I had that in my pocket, you know, what I had in my pocket. But I couldn't get up that bank. It was kind of like wet. I don't know if the... I don't know if it rained or what. It was kind of wet, you know. Uh, so I started grabbing it and everything, you know, pulling myself up uh, to get out. Well, <laughs> as it turns out, that was a bank of poison ivy, which I was very allergic to. Never did pay attention. I would get poison ivy out in the woods all the time, but I never did look say, oh, that's poison ivy. I just did whatever I was doing, and I got it, you know, <laughs> in the... It'd be awful, but I obviously had been pulling out the poison ivy and had got the, uh, there's like this milky stuff that comes out of it, like, and I got that, had got that all over me, obviously. All in my feet, you know, I was barefooted. And uh, so, I mean, so I didn't, at first I didn't think anything about it. I mean, it, it wasn't nothing, no symptoms at first. 
But we were there for several more hours. I mean, like, I don't know. We ate, you know, ate and everything with, with everybody in the the hall or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I did start itching, though, after that, for about, after about maybe three or four hours later, I'm guessing. Well, then, you know, it wasn't much longer. It started getting red. And then next thing you know, the bumps are coming up. Well, I ended up with it from literally from head to toe. It stopped right here at my eyes. It, 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 it almost got my eyes, but it, I had it everywhere, anywhere I'd wiped. You could even see like fingerprints. If I had scratched, you could see like where I scratched because it would pop up in lines. And I got it so bad. And, and I, I was bad about scratching at it, you know, and it would like, it would get like crusty, like, cause it was, that stuff would come out, you know? And, and I literally, I, I thought my legs and arm, my legs especially look like, Ken, like Kentucky fried chicken, <laughs> but I had it, I mean, everywhere. I'm not even kidding from my toes all the way up here. And, uh, you know, I, I wasn't on the football team. And I went ahead and played with with it like that. I was I had, had other stories where I played where I shouldn't have, and uh, my feet felt like bags of water or something because they were all over. Well, I ended up you know I I did play that one game. And Mom said no, you're not doing this, and uh, she took me to the doctor, and because the game was like, I think it was like the next day or something like that. And I was trying to use, I had calamine lotion all over me. I was like a big pink, I don't know what. But uh, took me to the doctor and we he gave me a shot and these pills I had to take. And uh, it took a long time before that stuff went away. And uh, I guess I learned a lesson though, not to uh, take my shoes and socks off if I'd have still had my shoes and socks on and had my pants down even, I still would have got it if I'd have climbed up that bank. But it wouldn't have been as bad. So, I'll tell you what, that was awful. <laughs> yeah, I even wrote down, I, I'm surprised I remembered and said it, but it, I even wrote down, played football with it all over my feet. <laughs> uh, Mom was against that now. I mean... I was like, no, I'm, I'm fine. You know, I, I'm fine. I was, I was first string, you know, I didn't want, if somebody else played my, my position and I wasn't there, I was afraid I might lose my position, you know, or something, be second string. And so I played, you know, <laughs> it made it worse because, you know, with my, had my football cleats on and stuff and they, they all popped inside of my shoes and just made it even worse. And she's like, no more. After that, we're going to the doctor. So so we went and got the shot and stuff. But I don't know. I was always, I'm like I am now. I, was, I, I couldn't sit still. I was always wanting to do something, especially outside and stuff. And I just didn't want to just sit inside and watch TV or nothing. I always doing something. So... <laughs> So I had my hobbies, you know, I, I even collected stamps and coins back then, but I had, uh, fishing was my major hobby back then, so. <laughs> All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed story time. Uh, please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that <laughs> so you get all of my videos as soon as they come out. Ooh, makes me want to itch. I'm <laughs> thinking about it, no. I'm not really itchy. I'm just messing with you. All right, everybody. Um, I'll probably, if I can, I'll see you at my infusion later on. Thanks a lot. God bless everyone.